today's anti-aging skincare routine even though i hate using that word anti but unfortunately that's the most relatable word <laughs> on the streets of skincare like you can't go against aging when they say anti it means against opposite right but basically we want to age gracefully and that's why skincare self-care it's key right okay today's anti-aging skincare routine is without any form of retinoid you see one thing with formulating formulation with retinoid is something you start small that's a very popular um, um language around here but i'm just trying to say that you do not use any form of retinoid like seven days a week right there are breaks and these breaks are very very necessary because there are some ingredients that you cannot combine with retinol an example of one of such ingredients is the lactic acid now this is my stay on lactic acid product at five percent is in a cream form yes and basically today's skincare is very much straightforward just with four products four products yes less is better with this skincare that's just it gone are the days that trend has passed where you lay the korean waiting 12 step 14 step beauty mm -hmm. all those things are gone and there's something people don't even realize with these k beauty products k beauty products all like other country products okay let me give an example with k beauty products and the ordinary now k beauty products though i noticed they hardly even write the percentage of the active in fact some of the k beauty products i see is even in their uh, korean language it's not hardly it's not even in english so now the ordinary has niacinamide at 10 percent and they studied it clearly vitamin d at 10 percent but a k beauty product now will have niacinamide as an active ingredient but might not necessarily tell you or they might let you know like something like like an example like a product like corax they will let you know but most of the time they do not use actives at high percentage for me i think the ordinary is sort of mimicking medical grade cosmetics but in a friendly way but korean products are strictly cosmetic products so they go for the barest, I wouldn't say minimum, but they just go for like the medium. Do you get? Like you can hardly see a Korean beauty product that has a very high amount of um, active. But though sometimes you get products that have high amount of bleaching products, <laughs> bleaching actives in it. I don't know why. But when we talk of cosmetic actives actually your hydrocon is also a cosmetic active but let's forget about it please we talk of other active like our vitamin a our vitamin b our vitamin c's now you hardly see k beauty products having that high high amount do they work yeah they do but it's just that like you need to take longer do i prefer them not necessarily honestly do i prefer the medium um products i'm a melanated skin and my skin is sort of tough even though eventually black cracks am i talking too much yes now i'm going to go in straight forward to my skincare routine like i said today's skincare routine is just for products so i'm starting with my toner now let me tell you something about um use exfoliating during the winter slash hammer tan honestly speaking if you have a dry skin this period there eh, i have so much interest and so much empathy like not in a negative way for dry skin type because this season is not their own season at all a lot of them from when summer was coming to an end they were already panicking like the weather that is going to come and torment them is by the corner or is even here already i would advise you not to exfoliate with salicylic acid stay away from salicylic acid stick to your lactic acid or mandelic acid don't even go near glycolic acid if you're a melanated skin but if you're not a melanated skin fine you can do glycolic acid for me glycolic acid is a no-no for melanated skin and this is my reason it has the like tiniest molecules among the category of the ahas and therefore its penetration level is higher thereby causing more irritation 
yes then um lactic acid for me lactic acid is their median is their medium guy mandelic acid is even much more mild yeah so if you have a serious um dry skin sensitive skin i think stick to mandelic acid but if you have an okay skin yes that is not easily triggered lactic acid is your guy lactic acid helps to clear hyperpigmentation is an aha like i heard earlier it helps to exfoliate dead skin cells and that is the reason why it also has those good anti-aging property and um the truth of it is that as we grow older our skin cells rejuvenate slower so it needs help even though sometimes i know exfoliation is not compulsory for everybody which is a story for another day i would still recommend it when you have the opportunity to do that I will talk about exfoliation not being compulsory probably in that video i will break it down better for you to understand before you say as well as said exfoliation is not it's very important mind you it is the buffering of the dead skin cells and reviewing a new one Ooh, no so basically today's skincare i'm moving on to the next product which is the hydrating essence you see this hydration before your skincare it's very important though even you you will enjoy the 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 beauty of hydrating your skin to be honest with you although lactic acid is hydrating too on its own so it's a good one so i remember my other video i'll drop it in the description area for you to watch the other uh, for the one i did about best uh product for the face nighttime skincare um i spoke about um that skincare routine not being my everyday skincare routine why because in between there are products that do not go well with retinol and besides like i said it's not advisable for you to even use retinol like seven days a week and no i wouldn't advise that well if it's a very 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 low strength retinol product maybe as low as maybe 0 0.1 or 0.2 really low i think it can work but then bear in mind that you cannot use it seven days a week if you intend to introduce something like glycolic acid or salicylic acid or lactic acid i would don't advise you to so on that day you have to take out retinol do you understand what i'm trying to say here yes so owing to the fact that the weather is actually dry my toner and my hydrating essence sort of dried off even though i have a little assist here here yeah it helps to facilitate the drying and settling down of this product you know when you want to do your skincare you have to start early or at least start an hour before you go to bed if you're the type that go to bed by nine start by eight if you're the type that go by ten you start by nine at least an hour or even two if possible so that you don't end up with all of your skincare products on your pillow so that before you go to bed it might have absorbed into your skin so now i'm going to go with my lactic acid so basically lactic acid cream or serum i also have the serum yeah and this is the cream like i told you this yeah can you see yeah so lactic acid for stay on product is advisable from let's say five to twelve yeah percent but above that i would advise you to rinse it out you know a lot of times when they tell you that these products use them small small or use them bit by bit take it seriously so, hmm because when you do not obey the instruction <laughs> you will not like what will happen to your skin afterwards so um a lot of times people underestimate these actives probably because they don't know the signs which i understand but for people that know the signs and told you to use it small small what is that thing that you're arguing about or what is that thing that you don't want to obey <laughs> they go small small even me myself personally i'm not like you i learned the hard way forget that i sat down here and i'm talking with all this confidence and sarcasm i also learned the hard way <laughs> so at this point my skincare routine is basically done um it's actually optional to moisturize but i will moisturize why because the weather is dry yes and it's even worse at night so and i do not have a humidifier so i need to moisturize my skin properly so that even the hydrating 
products that I used before moisturizing would be well sealed inside on that you know so now i'm going in with a moisturizer do just a little bit of that moisturizer now basically what i'm going to do is just a little like this right it now this moisturizer has a tyrosinase inhibitor i was at a live stream today and people were asking um a skincare specialist about black spots no, sorry, dark knuckles, and she was telling them to use lactic acid at night. Yes, she said lactic acid within the range of I think five to seven, she said, or five to twelve, thereabouts. Yeah, and then did she use sunscreen during the day? Hmm. I was just wondering if it was my fellow melanated skin that asking that question. If you use lactic acid on the on the hand because of black knuckles, and uh, you do not use SPF. <laughs> I don't want to talk too much but my own is that what is that thing that you're using that is giving you black skin and uh, dark knuckles although there are some people that don't bleach you but they have dark knuckles i have a video where i spoke about that about dark knuckles where it's not necessarily have to be bleaching product do you know that we like housewives that work indulge in domestic chores with detergents bleach it can cause that too <laughs> yeah so black knuckles is not necessarily a bleaching thing alone yeah some of our activities in the house that we don't know that we're doing can do that i'll drop that video in the description area i have a video like that that was over a year ago so i did that video if not more yeah so now i'm done with my night skincare exactly i'm done i'm done if you want to still if you have a really dry skin and you still want to increase moisture it's fine but for me i'm okay like this i'm just okay yeah i don't need any more layer of any moisturizer anymore i'm just fine yeah so basically i'm done <laughs> i might um um this is a face and body cream actually it contains little amount of tyrosinase inhibitor so this is a, a prevents premature aging and that is the word i prefer to use premature good then it even out skin tone yeah due to the presence of the tyrosinase inhibitor so it has that brightening slash lightening ability so thank you so much and hope to see you in the video peace out